Moments ago, 50 Cent reacts to a Diddy accuser getting exposed after going public with her lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs last week. That's right, y'all. Now, according to these new reports from TMZ, they claim they have messages from this accuser reaching out to her ex-boyfriend, offering to pay him millions only if he can co-sign the claims made in her recent lawsuit against Diddy. That's right, y'all. As y'all can see, it seems as if this accuser is just simply jumping on the bandwagon after seeing over 120 people come forward last week making claims against Diddy. Of course, those individuals were represented by an attorney uh, who goes by the name of Tony Busby. And this accuser, she's being represented by a Gloria Allred. Okay, for those who may not know who she is, I encourage y'all to do your homework. Okay, well, moments ago, 50 Cent reacted to this accuser getting caught via IG with a post that reads, Uh-huh, caught this bitch lying. LOL. All right, now again, that was 50 Cent reacting to this accuser court lying on Diddy after messages show her reaching out to her ex-boyfriend, offering to pay him millions only if he would co-sign her claims made against Diddy in her lawsuit. Okay, so again, as we all know, hundreds of people are now coming forward with making claims against Diddy. According to this attorney uh, based out of Texas who goes by the name of Tony Busby, he claims that, you know, Diddy allegedly used drugs such as horse tranquilizers and others, right, against his victims. Listen, like I said, these headlines are ridiculous. This is the same attorney who created the Sean Diddy Combs hotline, and it's being reported over 12,000 people made calls into this hotline, okay? Uh, it's, it's getting ridiculous, right? And now the attorney claims that him and his team are doing their, their due diligence to weed out the, the real victims versus those who are hopping on the bandwagon because, again, 12,000 calls made into this Diddy hotline. I mean, at what point is enough enough? Okay, we get it. Diddy settled uh, in, in record-breaking time against Cassie. And like 50 said earlier this year, that just opened the floodgates for more people to jump on the bandwagon, right? And it's gotten so out of hand that Diddy's mother had to release a statement yesterday to address some of the controversy surrounding her son, okay? She went ahead to defend Diddy against these claims, saying that her son is not a monster, all right? And that, you know, he deserves his day in court just like everyone else. But that goes to show, you know, now they're talking about horse tranquilizer. I mean, listen, it's just getting ridiculous, okay? You even uh, hear the mentions of minors. You get what I mean? So at some point, we just have to sit back and wait for the trial to begin so we can actually see the evidence that, that will be presented during this trial because right now people are going crazy on social media, right, on these platforms, whether it's resurfaced pictures, content videos, all of these things to kind of rehash uh, those moments in which, you know, Diddy went viral on many occasions, right? A lot of these clips are old we've seen, but now people want to know uh, who's party with Puff, who partook in some of these alleged acts alongside Diddy, because again, these attorneys claim, and it ain't just the attorneys, the feds as well, claim that, you know, they have uh, surveillance video of, you know, alleged big name celebs who will eventually uh, be revealed, right, as the year continues on. But again, this is what creates this, uh, these, these, these rumors and speculations and, and, and just people curious as to why so many are now choosing to stay silent. And, and now we see why, because it's getting out of hand. Okay, so many people, 12,000 people reaching out to the Sean Diddy Combs hotline. I mean, again, how does one even weed through all of these calls to know if people are, are, are truly victims, you know what I mean, in a situation, or are they just jumping on the bandwagon? Because here we go. We got one person already caught reaching out to her ex-boyfriend, offering to pay them millions only if he will co-sign a story, man. That's just one. Imagine how many more people will get, you know, caught during this whole process. But again, I'm curious to know, what are your thoughts on all of this down in the comment section below? What are your thoughts on 50 Cent reacting to this accuser getting caught lying on Diddy? And do you think there are more people uh, who will eventually be caught, you know, trying to jump on this, this bad wagon, people are calling it a uh, cash grab? Do you think more people will be revealed as liars, you know, as we continue on throughout the year? Because again, we just have to sit back and wait and see how this, this trial plays out. But according to Diddy's mother, she wants her son to have her, you know, his day in court. And, you know, 
I think that's that's a fair statement to make. But again, I'm curious to hear what are your thoughts on everything down in the comment section below. But look, man, this is all I got for y'all today. Again, my name is Sensei Rip. Till next time. Peace. Y'all know the MREC room etiquette? Peace. You now tuned in to MREC TV. Someone wasn't on protocol. There are consequences. <laughs> <laughs>